The events in Egypt are reverberating throughout the Middle East. On Monday, anti-government demonstrators clashed with police in Tehran. Police fired tear gas to disperse the demonstrators who were throwing stones at the officers. It's the first such clash in the country for over a year. The day before the protest, the U.S. State Department began sending Twitter messages to Iranians in their native tongue. Professor Syed Mohammed Mirandi from the University of Tehran says Washington is losing ground in the region. The United States seems very desperate because this is a very desperate measure. The Americans know that they are losing out in the Middle East and the Middle East is becoming independent. Even its key allies are no longer stable. Countries and regimes like Jordan and Saudi Arabia and Yemen, it's not clear how long they will last. The United States is in serious trouble on all fronts. It's in trouble in Iraq and Afghanistan and Lebanon and Tunisia and Egypt. The Americans are desperately trying to um, bring about change in Iran, but the fact is that uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran is highly popular. The small group of people who rioted in downtown Tehran today, which are no more than a few hundred, they constitute a small minority. The Iranians basically want their independence, they want to remain independent, and they're opposed to apartheid in Palestine. If the Americans are able to come to terms with the reality in Iran, the Iranians are quite willing to, uh, to move towards rapprochement.